The question is, what is the story that Juno Pope wanted to say? Because the way his family is behaving now with his obituary handling is looking like there is more to this family that meets the eye. What is going on? Everybody's concerned. To all of you that were confused, is Junio Pope truly gone? It's not true. He's alive. He's gone. He's alive. He's gone. And you guys were telling bloggers how bloggers are posting trash because somebody just announced that they saw him here drinking. Somebody just announced here that they saw him dancing, passing by. Now it's been confirmed junior pope is indeed gone because his family put out an obituary and on the obituary you can read the burial plans and all that crazy stuff so yes our junior pope swag nation is indeed gone but then again there is a story behind his obituary poster you can take a look read and then you're going to find it for yourself if you don't spot it let me tell you, Junior Pope was given all the titles. He is a brother, he is a father, he is an uncle, he is a son. But nobody put he is a husband. Why was it not put that he is a husband? This man, as we know him, he is a married man. Very married man. Bonified married man with boys, kids. And he's always shown us how much of a great daddy he is, great family man he is, because he does ask kids with his kids and his wife too sometimes. And that's what I know him for. So it's kind of questionable that his family members who put out a flyer like this without that beautiful title of husband. Other people too are insinuating that Probably there was something in that relationship. That's why the wife has not posted anything yet. Ever since his passing, she hasn't posted anything yet. And people are asking questions like, why? But I think that social media is not the only means of communication. Social media, why is that people are just waiting for people to post? If you don't post, then it shows that you don't care. Most everybody posts on social media to show that they care. Please answer that question for me in the comments. More so, Junior Pope's mom is believing that her son was unalived. She does not believe all the stories that have been told. She very much believes that this guy was unalived on that particular day because she cannot believe that her son was taken out of the water and nobody could perform CPR. And also, other people are asking questions like, if he had been on the water and he was rescued out, why were his clothes torn? Beautiful people, that and more we're going to be talking on this video. But before we continue, let me welcome you back. Thank you for tuning in to Candid Opinion with DM. Please share this video. Please, you know, follow the page if you're not following already. And also tell us your candid opinions in the comment section. It is a very sad one who lost a Nollywood star. This guy is like one of them actors that you watch him on the movie, you will not miss his presence because he is very talented and unique and he has his way of dressing and a very unique way of speaking. Personally, I love him more for what he's been putting out on social media as a married man, his opinions on other, you know, social issues that come up. And he always comments like a good man i respect and love good men unfortunately for junior pope he passed on while working i put that in quotes because right about now there is a lot of narratives so many different narratives that we don't know which one is true or which one is false all i can call for is that the nigerian police get on the job and do some investigation because the AGN president in, of Nigeria, like the Actors Guild president, um, came out and said that his name is Emeka Rolas, came out and said that he was with, you know, Junior Pope's mom and this woman is telling everybody that wants to listen that she does not believe that her son was not on her life, that this 
stories are be very sketchy and she's very much convinced that something somebody did something to her son on that fateful day other people are saying that it's true because the stories everybody's telling their own and if all of you are there why is it that everybody's telling different stories some say he was not on the boat that fell in the water others said he was in the water for four hours before he was taken out some people are saying if he was in the water for four hours why then was his clothes all torn and his stomach very flat not looking like somebody who drowned and why were people talking about you know cpr bringing him to a native doctor for rituals then bringing him to the hospital why was he not brought to the hospital first before any rituals could have taken place there is so many unanswered question and Mekarola said that yesterday when he was explaining what the fat mom is thinking about and also the director of that set movie world be the, the life beyond the movie that they were acting also has come out to say people should not ask him why the family of junior pope did not put the title of husband on the flyer because he has been given a lot of free information and people have not been valuing it they should go and ask junior pope's brother why on that flyer it wasn't put that he is a husband ha also beautiful people looking at all that is happening one could conclude that these people are trying to blame his wife because you could see comments on comment section saying that they should go and seize the house from the wife something is amiss with the wife why is the wife not saying anything maybe Juno pope was looking to tell people about something that is not right with his marriage other people are insinuating that the wife was not a white good wife and more people are also saying that allegedly more people are saying that this junior pope had problems and he, he was looking for people to talk to he went to very dark black man sent very dark black man message begging him to come so they can talk face to face the very dark black man screenshot the message and never replied him and junior pope went back and deleted his comments more so there's another nollywood actor who came out and said junior pope told him that he wanted to come out and tell his story but he was the one begging him and you know pope told him if i don't tell my story and i buy tomorrow who will be the one to tell my story would you be the one to tell my story the question is what is the story that you know pope wanted to say because the way his family is behaving now with this obituary handling is looking like there is more to this family that meets the eye what is going on everybody's concerned beautiful people tell me what you think after reading the obituary where you will see everybody's his, all his titles but the one of being a husband what are your opinions tell us in the comments and also tell us what you think about the stories that have been put out on social media regarding his passing do you think like his mom that he was unalived or do you think it was a natural occurrence